And now we'll see how to factor this too, and we'll focus on this one first. x to the third power plus 125. Don't get too excited and see the plus sign and say that's not factorable. This right here is x plus third power, and right here we're actually talking about the fourth situation, the sum of two cubes. There's actually an answer for that, okay? And to get that, let me show you for this right here. Let me put that down as x to the third power, and then let's bring down the plus. And then for the 125, we have to ask ourselves, what times what times what? In another word, what to the third power will give us 125? And the answer to that is 5. So let's put that down and then raise to a third power. And now you see x to the third power plus 5 to the third power. That's exactly this one right here, right? And this is how the formula goes. Right here, for the first little parentheses, you see that you have a plus b, no power. And you just have a plus b like that, pretty much. No power, okay? So I will open my first little parentheses. I will just have x plus 5. Two terms, and there's no power, okay? And now, for the second parentheses, you are going to have three terms. And for the first term, it's the a squared. Well, it's this red thing right here, which is x. And we raise that to the second power. So we will have x squared. Right? This, and then you square that, the red thing right here. And next, this is the slightly tricky part. This is going to be minus. So you have to you know, remember that really, really well. It's a minus right here, okay? It's a minus. Minus what? The formula tells us that we have to do a times b. Namely, we do this times that. So we have to do x times 5, which is going to be 5x. At the end, we have to add, and both of them are adding. But then it's this sign that's tricky. Okay, be careful with that. At the end, we add b squared, and the b is the 5. So here we have to work out 5 squared. So we get what? 25. And this right here is it. And you see that. The formula stops right here because this part, even though it's a trinomial, but it's not factorable. So we can be sure we'll stop right here. This is never factorable. That's why the formula stops right here. And we'll box this for the answer. And now we'll look at this one. And you see the deal, right? I pretty much put the 125 in front of the x to a third power instead. And let's see how to do this. So right here, get to work something to the third power plus something to the third power, right? And inside here, we must have this parenthesis, and the reason is because we have the 125 in front of the x to the third power. Two things multiplying. Earlier here, it's just like a 1, so it's okay, right? Okay, let's see. 125, we know 5 to the third power gives us 125, right? And then inside here, I also have to put down the x. 5x in the parentheses to the third power give us 125 times x to the third power. For this, this is 1 originally, but I can write 1 as 1 to the third power it is still 1. This is good, right? And now, let's see what we end up with. So this is the a, this is the b, and the formula says we are going to have a plus b first. So we are going to have 5x plus 1. Okay, 5x plus 1 like this first. And then for the second parentheses, well, what's the first thing right here? It's a squared, right? And the a, in this case, is the 5x. So be sure you work out this. The a is 5x. However, be sure to put down in the parentheses, put this down in the parentheses, and then raise that to the second power, and then we work this out. 5 squared is 25 x squared is just x squared. Be sure you work this out. And now, it's a minus, right? So I'll bring down the minus here, and it says we have to do a times b, so we do 5x times 1, which is still 5x. So put down 5x here. At the very end, we have to add the b squared. b in our case is 1, so we add 1 squared, it is still 1, but then be sure you have to pay close attention to this number. This 1 is technically, we work it out, it's the 1 square. So 
Whenever you have a number, you need to work it out. Just work it out. This right here is usually the tricky part, and also the sign. Okay, remember them really, really well. And now we are going to factor out 8x to the third power minus 27, y to the sixth power. And we see that this is the subtraction, and here we have x to the third power. So these are the big hint of that we should use the third formula, right? The third power right there, the difference of two cubes. And to get started, this is the preparation. I'm going to open two parentheses, and then both of them should be raised to a third power. So parentheses to a third power, and then minus parentheses to the third power. The hard part right now is that we have to identify what should we put in, in these two parentheses. Because this right here is the A, and this right here is the B, okay? Let's look at the first term. Originally, we have 8. Well, think about what to the third power will give us 8? 2, right? So let's put down 2 inside. 2 to the third power will give us 8. How about for the x? We have x to the third power, so of course I just need the x inside. That's nice. And now let's move to the second parentheses. This is 27. What to the third power will give us 27? Well, let's think about it. 3 times 3 times 3. We know that's 27, right? So we need a 3 inside. And here's the most tricky part. This is y to the 6th power. How can we fill in right here? Well, if I just have y, y to the 3rd power is just y to the 3rd power, but I need to have y to the 6th power, right? The answer to this right here is that we need to have y to the 2nd power. And you see, when we have 3 y squared inside of a parentheses like this, and then raised to the 3rd power, we get to distribute the power, right? 3 to the 3rd power is 27, and then y to the 2nd power, to the 3rd power, in this case, we multiply the exponents. 2 times 3 will give us 6. And the reason that we have to do this is this is the capital A, and this is the capital B. So be sure the first step is correct. And now we can apply the formula. The formula says we must have the first one to be a minus b, no power, right? So just like 2x minus 3y squared. That's all. So let's put that down real quick. 2x minus, this is 3y squared. Done. And for the second parentheses, we have to work this out carefully. First, we need to have a squared. And the a is the entire 2x right here. And we have to raise that to the second power. And let me show you guys the work right here. 2x, I'm going to write this down and then put a parenthesis around it because I have to take this and raise to the second power and we will have to work this out. 2 to the second power is 4 and x to the second power is x squared. Okay, that's the first part. And now we have the plus. Be sure it's a plus right here. a times b, namely we have to do 2x times 3y squared. And you see, 2 times 3 is 6. x times this is just x. And then we have the y squared. Be sure you put that down as well. At the end, we have the plus b squared. And what's b? b is this, right? 3y squared. And work this out carefully, and I will show you guys the work right here. 3y squared, this is the b. We'll put this in a parentheses and then raise to the second power. This square on the outside, it's because of the formula, right? The 2 right here, it says so. And this square is because the b is 3y square. Okay? So put this down, and now we will work it out. 3 square is 9, and then y square raised to a second power, we multiply the exponents, 2 times 2 is 4, so y to the fourth power, and we are done because the formula stops right here, it's because right here it's not factorable. And this right here is the answer for that. Okay, final example in this video, and once again we'll make a comparison. And you see that the only difference between this and that is we have this additional x right here with a 64. This one does not have that. Maybe that will make a big difference. Let's check this out. Let's factor this out first. This is x to the third power minus 64x. What can we do? In fact, I should ask you guys, what should we do first? 
Well, you have to remember the default step. This right here is x to the third power, and this right here, we do also have the x, right? So, the default step says we should take out the greatest common factor. In this case, let's take that x out. Okay, and then inside here, uh, the first term we had x to the third power, but we took one out. So we have x squared left, and bring down the minus, and for this term, we just have the 64, because this x is out already. So that's the first step. So keep in mind, you always have to do the default step. And now, this is done. Can we do more with x to the second power minus 64? Yes, and in this case, it's the square, right? Difference of two square, because this is x squared minus this is eight square. And let me indicate that for you guys. x squared minus this is eight square, right? So we can use formula number one. Right here, this is the final answer. Be sure you write down the x in the front. And this, x squared minus 64, you can look at this and then you factor it, you get x minus 8 times x plus 8. And this is it. Okay? And now, if we didn't have this x, this is x to the third power minus 64. We have two terms, right? Well, this is third power. How about 64? 64 is, in fact, 4 times 4 times 4. So that's 4 to the third power. Let me write this down as x to the third power minus the 64. It's 4 to the third power. And you see, I don't need to use the parentheses here. Likewise, I didn't use the parentheses to run the x and the 8 because we only have one thing right here, right? Just the x, just the 4. So we don't need parentheses. And now you see the a is the x and the b is the 4. We are going to use formula number 3. And let's do it. Right here, first, we will have x minus 4. Right? Because that's the a minus b. And now, the second parentheses, we will have x to the second power. Because you take the a, which is the x, and you raise that to the second power. And you are going to add it with a times b, which is this times that, right? The thing in red. Well, 4 times, 4 times x, x times 4. It's going to give you 4x. At the end, you add b squared. b is 4, and you square that. So you work this out right here. 4 squared, it's going to give you 16. And this right here is it. And you see, when you have one little thing, the strategy, the way to factor, they may be totally different.